Jamie Dafner alongside Matt McMullen here on this series recap on Volcanoes TV. Salem Kaiser defeats Hillsborough here tonight in game three by a final score of 7-0. But overall in the series, Hillsborough had already won it. They took games one and two, really beating up on the Volcanoes overall this season. They are now 7-2 versus Salem Kaiser through the first nine games. Game one, we got to see a first start from Luis Pino, and he pitched very well going Five innings allowing only one earned run. Sean McCall also homered in that game, a two run shot, which was his fifth of the season. That is tied for the team lead. But a couple of errors in the fifth and sixth inning allowed to two hops runs each of those innings. And Hillsborough was able to hold on for a four to two win in game one. And then in game two, it did not get much better. It was a tight one, but the Volcanoes dropped it. Well, it didn't start off well for the Volcanoes. Drew Leanhouse lasts only two-thirds of an inning, his shortest outing of the season. He lost four runs in the first inning, but the Volcanoes fight back. Home runs from CJ Hinojosa and Julio Pena of the Volcanoes tie the game after two innings, but the hop score won the third, and that score would hold as the Volcanoes fell five to four in the middle game. But you know the Volcanoes came out with their hair on fire in game number three. They smoked Hillsboro seven runs, ended up blanking the hops seven nothing. Big credit to Nolan Riggs coming back into the rotation for the first time in a while. Well, he might have a spot in there now. Six innings, no runs, only three hits off of the big 6'8 right-hander. Then coupled with Ryan Hernandez and Caleb Smith, the Volcanoes were able to shut out Hillsborough. It's the third shutout on the season for the Volcanoes. Big way to carry momentum into this five-game set we have with Spokane in Spokane, Washington coming up here. Before we hit the buses for Spokane, we got to chat with big time performer tonight, CJ Hanahosa and the skipper, Kyle Haynes. CJ, last big stretch for you this last week, you're really hitting the snot out of the ball. A lot of extra base hits. Has anything different been clicking for you? Uh, you know, just swinging at different pitches that I can handle instead of chasing stuff. Um, still chasing a couple pitches every game, but uh, you know, trying to limit pitches that I do chase compared to the ones that I know I can drive, you know, getting them and not missing them. Had a great three for four tonight with another home run. Talk about how good it feels to get a home run in front of the whole crowd. Uh, I mean, it's awesome, you know, guys that get to come out here and, uh, you know, we play in front of these fans. A lot of, lot of fun and, uh, you know, just coming out and having fun every day and enjoying my time out here. Coming off a few losses here to Eugene and to the Hillsboro, big statement win tonight. How good does it feel to be, you know you can be part of this really machine of an offense? You know, it's awesome. You know, every guy comes out here every day working hard, trying to, you know, get better every day. And we just come out and give it all we have every game. And, you know, whether it turns out the way tonight did or it turns out the way, you know, the past two series have, we're going to come out and battle every day and uh, give it our all to try to win, win the series, win the games that uh, we play that night. I want to ask, how is it like playing with a second baseman like Avion? I mean, he is everywhere. It seems everything on the right side of the infield is his. You're over there at shortstop making double plays with him. Talk about playing with Junior. <laughs> it's a blast, man. He's, he's a good guy. Always talking, always, I mean, he's like a kid. He's uh, always smiling, always goofing around. And uh, I mean, it's also fun. You got Gomez on my side. And, uh, you know, they're, they're just class acts, but they're, they like to have fun. So uh, it's a lot of fun playing with those guys. All right, Kyle, so lost the series here to Hillsboro, 2-1, to one, but came back with a resounding victory tonight. What can you say about your team to come back here and really show their heart and their pride laying out Hillsboro 7-0? Yeah, I mean, that's a very good ball club over there. Um, discouraging those first two games, not being able to pull out at least one of those games. Um, but uh, definitely encouraging sign, kind of having some uh, air taken out of our sails a little bit the last two nights, and to be able to respond tonight put a big four spot on him in the first inning and then not let up. So many, so many times this year I felt like we, we put runs up early and then we kind of let up offensively and let the bullpen settle in and keep us off the board. We stayed with it, kept chipping away and uh, getting some more runs on the board to help pull us farther ahead and make that game uh, you know, out, of, out of hand and Nolan Riggs is absolutely fantastic in the spot start. Yeah, talk a little more about Nolan. He comes in for the start. We haven't seen him in the rotation for a little bit. I mean, you probably couldn't have imagined a better outcome right there. He really locked it down for six innings, allowed just three hits. And after a really bullpen game yesterday, how big is that for Nolan to come in with a huge start? Well, he's pitched great against Hillsborough every time out. Um, I think this is probably his third, maybe fourth game this year. I don't know if he's given up a hit until tonight, and that was a lot of innings as well. I don't think, I think he pitched probably 11 or 12 innings without giving up a hit until they got their first hit there. And even a couple of hits were a little, uh, you know, one little nubber off the end of the bat. 
but uh, you know, fantastic job. He's so tall, he creates such a good downward angle that makes it tough for the hitters to see. He's throwing right you know, on top of guys, a lot like a Chris Young type guy. Um, but uh, sometimes his command will kind of just waver a little bit and he'll end up working pretty hard. Um, being so tall, just repeating his mechanics is a big battle. And when he repeats his mechanics and throws his breaking ball for strikes, he's tough on anybody. And he picked us up huge tonight. We needed him tonight, and he picked us up big time. So it sounds like they're having fun out there. Hopefully, we can have an enjoyable road trip in Spokane. For Matt McMullen, I'm Jamie Daphner. Thank you for watching this series recap on Volcanoes TV.